Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, not a TA video. Today, I'm going to make a video about a question that everybody keeps asking me every day. Why did you go all in? What is the calculation behind it? And what should we do today? Should we go all in? I'm going to take a very short time to make this beautiful video so you understand. Okay, let's first jump in over here bam this one this is the article written by mackenzie sigalos in 2017 where they told the bitcoin family went all in this was on cnbc they couldn't understand it they couldn't calculate it this is the house that we sold the people were amazed that you could sell everything you have go into something very risky is very risky adam white general manager of gdex said at that time um, so why did we do it that's the question that many people keep asking me and now i decided to make a short video on this so that people can um, watch it and to understand why that we did do this okay because i calculated at that moment if i sell everything i have my house, the companies, the cars, the bikes, the kids' toys, we will be left there with a bag of money. What do you do with this money? You can invest that money. And then you look around you and you think, I have this capital and I need this capital to work for me. I don't want to work for capital anymore. I don't want to do physical job. I want to take my capital and then have that capital working for me. And then you look around. And at that moment, of course, we saw again the Bitcoin prices. And I made a very simple calculation that is this one over here. Yes, it's an Excel. Um, I created this this morning just to give you uh, 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 an overview how we calculate it. Okay. So if you look at this very simple Excel sheet, let's see, is my face in the right place? Yes, it is. Then you see, for example, let's say in 2017, we invested 100,000 US dollars. To be honest, we invested more, but let's calculate with 100,000 US dollar, as I think that a lot of people that sell their house now have an overvalue of maybe around 100,000. If you sell your cars, everything, 100K could be a target. The Bitcoin price at that moment was 5,000 US dollar in average. It was lower, 900, it went up to 10, so 20, so, you know, an average 5K. So let's say we bought 20 Bitcoins. You know, Bitcoin went to 20K, and in 2018, we uh, also dropped a little bit. In average, the price in 2018 was 7K. In average, the price in 2019 was also around 7K. 2020 was 11K, 2021 till now, like around 30K. I didn't precisely calculate these numbers. This is just an average, because I know in 2018, we uh, hovered around 7K for six months. Then we dumped to 3K for a couple of months. Then we went up again, so an average 7K. So if we would have spent six Bitcoins with doing nothing in 2018 to live life, 40,000 US, 2,000 US dollar, which is easily doable in countries like Asia, Thailand, where we spent those years. And six Bitcoins again in 2019. I'm talking about a situation that you don't earn anything extra, just living off the capital that you invested at that point in Bitcoin. So there would be another six Bitcoins lost in 2019. An average a few months was uh, 7k, a few months was 3k, a few months was uh, 14k, so an average 7k. Then in 2020, Bitcoin goes up a little bit, let's say an average 11k. You spend another 4 Bitcoins, again 45k to live life in these beautiful uh, countries. Yes, we did backpack, yes, we lived on campsites, yes, we had a lot of adventures. It was a minimalistic lifestyle, spending as less as possible Bitcoins. Then we come to 2021. If you calculate, we would be left then with four Bitcoins. Those four Bitcoins, an average price of 30K would be 120K, but at the today's worth, 60K per Bitcoin, that would be in worth of 240,000 US dollar. The investment would have been 100,000 US dollar. I would have lived seven, 2017, 18, 19, and 20 all over the world in beautiful countries. I showed my kids the world. I educated them in a different way. And at the 2021, I'm still there with four Bitcoins that have a value of 240,000 US dollar, which is way higher than the 100K. And yes, in those years, a lot of things happened and we started to earn Bitcoins and trade Bitcoins and all that stuff. But even if you wouldn't have done it, this simple calculation shows you what the result would have been. I hope that one is clear. 
Now, now let's jump into the next image because this one is also very really cool. Bam. People ask me, um, you know, is this a wise step to take? If you look at this article, for example, from March 2021, sorry, the Bitcoin's compound annual growth is an unheard of 200 CEGR. CEGR, sorry. This means in total it grew millions of percents, but annual growth was around 200% a year. That is massive. That is bigger than ever seen before in any asset. So the it's calculated uh, using the return on investment between two dates and it's working out the average compound return per year. So 200%. If you calculate that we will only do 100% in the next couple of years, um, that would mean that Bitcoin would still be a huge return on investment. So yes, if you ask me now, today, oh, should we go all in? It is a possibility because I believe that Bitcoin will grow much higher. I believe that Bitcoin will go to $1 million worth of Bitcoin. I believe Bitcoin is the new combination of the gold of the 21st, digital gold of the 21st century and peer-to-peer -peer cash because of the Lightning Network. So that is a massive technology evolution that will take us to the next level in the monetary system, which in my opinion will create a lot of value. But if you don't want to go all in, at the moment, then there is another safe play you can play. And this play, I was reminded to yesterday when I was on um, Digital Asset News, Rob's channel, because I love his strategy in dollar cost averaging. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you what dollar cost averaging would mean. Bam, over here, we come back to this website. Now, on this website, guys, I'm going to show you what is dollar cost averaging. It's very simple. Let's say you purchase $100 every month you would have started three years ago let's say four years ago the same time we started um like calculate from here if you would have done this 100 dollars every month and you would have started two, 2017 so four years ago same time when we started you would have now in totally invested look in the top here four thousand eight hundred dollars but the value would be $27,700. That's a 470% return on investment. That's more than 100% a year. If you would have done this with $250, just to give you an, 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 an idea, you would have invested 12K, which would now would be value 70K. $250 a month. For the big spenders, spenders here, thousand dollar a month, you would have invested forty-eight k, which would now be three hundred k. Even if you would have started three years ago, and you would have invested two hundred fifty dollar a month, you would have invested nine thousand US dollar, which would now have a value of four fifty thousand US dollar. Do you understand what I'm saying? A dollar cost averaging is a safe way of investing into Bitcoin while you take a lot of profit as well. So you can even compare it on this wipe to other uh, assets. You can see uh, Bitcoin totally invested $9,000, 50K result of investment in those three years. If you would invest it in gold, the value would still be $9,900. You would only make 11%. If you would have invested in dollars, you would only have 23% more. But because of the inflation, that would be zero at the moment. <laughs> so guys, that is how it works. Go to this website if you want to understand it. I'm not being paid to shill this website. It's just a bam, very infor informative website that you can use as a tool to calculate uh, what happened in the past and to also use it to predict a little bit what it will happen in the future if you start to invest Bitcoin every week or month. Now guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you now understand why we did it, how we did it. If you did, do understand it. And under, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, and let me know in the comments if you want to have more like these videos. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you understand now what I'm saying and if you're willing to do the same. Would you want to go all in? Or would you play the game different and dollar cost average? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later again. Bam!